when I first started gaming, I was probably like five, six years old. Uh, I have two older brothers, so they kind of grew up and were provided with like a Nintendo, the very first Nintendo, Super Nintendo and stuff like that. When I did get my time, I was really addicted to it. And then as I grew older, when my brothers uh, were in high school, they were handed a flyer, which was to a place called Netong, which was a place where uh, you go and they have a set of PCs. And I think that's where my passion, my addiction really carried on for gaming. It wasn't, at that point, it turned into more than just a hobby. And that's when I was introduced to Call of Duty by my cousin. Target spotted. <laughs> Confirmed. Hard point locked down. Topping off. So that's when kind of Call of Duty switched from uh, just gaming with family, gaming with friends to I'm real passionate about it. Uh, my parents are just like any other parents. They encourage you to stay in school, go to college, wanted to see you graduate college. And the first semester they didn't really take it well because I wasn't as successful. I didn't, ha I wasn't getting like daily incomes. But once I went to my first champs and brought home a, like a, it was like a seven thousand dollar check, you kind of seen that this could be big, especially with my placing was top eight. So uh, definitely the support system switched and they encouraged it. Uh, you, you know, Rise Nation do have the lead here and Looney is back on the defense. To try and get pushed up for Rise Nation and that uh, that'd be an easy kill for him. This little lull in the game, it just kind of all slowed down. But there we go, three kills do go in Rise Nation's favor. The time I realized I was really good at gaming is when other players would notice me. It was uh, MLG Dallas 2013. I played against Complexity. And I, I knew these, I knew these players. I knew they were the powerhouse. They were like almost the favorites to win behind Impact. And uh, I dropped the 48 kills the first map, and then like 26 the second map. We ended up losing both maps, but all four of them stood up and told me, "You're really freaking good. Like, you are nasty to do this. Your very first event seemed very calm and composed. Like, so that's kind of like when I realized, like, I can win. I can do this, and I should continue to do this. Hard point identified. I think my hero is definitely my mom. I think the, all the work she's put in, all the things she's done for me, I saw that she's the one that inspires me to want to win, to want to make money, to want to better her life just like how she bettered my life. I said I wanted to quit and she's the one that stopped me from doing it. The pressure is going to be coming to Looney really at tracks. I believe there's two players that are going to be pushing here momentarily. He has help from Octane as well. He's going to peek. Octane finds one. He finds the second. He finds the oh. third. Locking it down mid-map. Again. I'm definitely most part of our Vegas win. Uh, like I said before, after Chance Black Ops 3, I wanted to just hang up the stick, just give up. I think not quitting and just having that like instant success of winning an event, I think MOG was probably my big win that pros really see it as a win. Definitely just have to just believe in yourself and work hard and success will come.